Okay, let us now look at the last topic that we're going to do in SPSS. Uh, we're going to look at prediction. And for prediction, we're going to be using regression. Uh, now, how would we do multiple regression? And let's review some of the basics from, from what we talked about in the chapter. Uh, the chapter highlights that uh, for regression, um, at least ordinary least squares regression, which is what we're going to do for this class, um, we need at least interval level data. It should all be metric data, so interval or ratio level data. And there should be a um, make sure that we, we have uh, normalized data or, or you know, the distribution is, is appropriate. So what we're going to do you know, quickly here is just how do we get regression and then kind of go over the basic output on what it means and how uh, we should interpret it. So again, because we're going to be doing analysis, we get to analyze. We're going to go to regression linear. We're doing linear regression. And again, I've already put in um, overall satisfaction into the dependent variable. I picked price, variety, organization, um, item quality, um, service satisfaction as as the independent variable. So we're going to be predicting. The dependent variable is the variable we're going to predict. So we're predicting overall satisfaction based on these other types of satisfaction. So the satisfaction with the organization, satisfaction with the service, um, satisfaction with the item, variety selection, item quality. And then we're going to uh, hit OK. Now, this is what we get for output. So what are the things that we want to look at? Uh, one of the first things that I look at is, is, is there a significant predictor amongst the variables? And this ANOVA table is saying that at least one of these variables is a significant predictor of uh, overall satisfaction. So I'm, I'm able to tell that by the significance level of 0 .000, which is less than, and that's the important thing, it is a less than 0 0.05. So again, you know, as I talked about earlier, a way of thinking about it is what is the this this significance level is what are the chance that we're making a mistake in saying this in the test? Uh, it's not a perfect uh, definition, but that's a way to, to think about it as kind of a broad scope. Now when I look at the R square, I see that we've got 47 0.3%. That's a 0.473. So 47.3% of the variance explained. Now what does that mean? That means of overall satisfaction, the independent variables of item quality, satisfaction with the organization, service satisfaction, price satisfaction, and variety, in other words what we have in the store, the variety of items, satisfaction, account for almost half of the variance explained. So the R square is the variance explained. So of the variance available we explain about half of the variance with item, organization, service, price, and variety satisfaction. Now what variables specifically are predictors? Now we come down to what is called the coefficients. And here we see that price, variety, not organization, service, and item quality. So we have four variables that are significant predictors and one that is not a significant predictor. So the variable that is not is organization satisfaction. Now, if I want to see which one is the most important predictor, I would look at these standardized beta coefficients. That's what these are here. And the largest one, so these are constrained between 0 and 1, and the largest one has the greatest explanatory power of the dependent variable. And that would be service satisfaction. So overall satisfaction, again, most closely tied to service satisfaction. We saw that in the correlation matrix, and here in a predictive function that bears out as well. I would use these unstandardized beta coefficients to build the model. So it would be y hat, which is the, the overall satisfaction, equals, and then it would be 
uh, 0 0.630. That's my my uh, intercept in the model. Plus, these are all positive. 0.217x plus 0.153x2 and so on and build that regression equation like it is in the book. These betas would then be the weights that we would use for uh, building the predictive function. The standardized betas help us with the basic analysis and which one is the most important so we can compare apples to apples. The unstandardized betas allow us to build that predictive function that we would then plug in the weights into an Excel sheet and we could start doing some uh, some predictive if we improve uh, service satisfaction by one point how much would we get and, and an increase in overall satisfaction and the answer would be uh, point, uh, 0.296 improvement so that on a five point scale it's pretty pretty impressive and pretty important okay and that was regression and prediction thank you